Oh, hey everyone. It's been a while, hasn't it? But you know, I figured since we're all in lockdown mode, it's a good time to make a new barbecue video for us, just for spring. Today I've got something special, a wonderful appetizer, blistered shishito peppers. You're gonna love these. So let's follow the guidelines. Disinfect your hands, stand six feet back, take a good chug of hydroxychloroquine, or maybe a, some of this if you've got it, and let's go. The name Shishito, and you gotta be careful saying that, comes from the Japanese words shishi, which means lion, and torigashi, which translates into chili pepper. Hence in Japan, these peppers are known as the lion head pepper. The typical pepper is about two to five inches long, slender and a bright green color. They have a thin skin and most have a slightly sweet flavor. I say mostly because about one out of 10 are hot. So as they say, you pays your money and you take your chances. Not to worry, even the hot ones are not that hot. The typical heat range of a shishito pepper runs from 50 to 200 Scoville heat units, which isn't very hot at all. A typical jalapeno pepper averages about 5,000 Scoville heat units. Yikes. So roughly speaking, I'm about as hot as a shishito pepper. You can get these bad boys at most large supermarkets. I got these at Stater Brothers and they're packaged by Fritas. Fritas is a trusted source for fantastic, unique vegetables and fruits. Welcome to our kitchen. Before we get started, we wanna rinse our peppers off with some cold water. And when we're all done, we wanna pat them dry. Now, while you're working in the kitchen, you wanna make sure to make a really big mess. That way your wife can clean it up for you later. She'll appreciate that. After you get your peppers dried off, let's put them in a bowl. We'll add about uh, half a cup of grapeseed oil. I like to use grapeseed oil because it, it doesn't really leave any residual flavor onto the peppers. Mix them up real good. You wanna make sure that you get all of the peppers coated with the oil. That's that, let's go out to the barbecue. So for flavoring, I'm gonna add a little Hawaiian sea salt over the top of the peppers. I'm gonna give them a little turn. Oh look, they're already starting to char on one side. Looking pretty good. That's your most basic flavor right there, good old Hawaiian sea salt. Mm. For a little more garlic taste, I'm gonna try using some Suzy Q's Santa Maria style garlic salt. Another great way to flavor your shishito peppers is with soy sauce. I'm using Brian Azeka's soy sauce here, and I just spray it on lightly with a food grade sprayer. Oh boy, these are gonna be fantastic. So you should have cooked these so that they were charred on the outside and tender on the inside. And this is how I'm gonna serve them up. If you like a dipping sauce, you can make a traditional aioli, or in this case, I made a soy ginger dipping sauce. Over on this side, I have a sweet chili dipping sauce that came from Brian Azeka as well. Brian makes some great stuff. And I think your guests are really gonna like these blistered shishito peppers. It's always a great idea to have a little adult beverage while enjoying your appetizer. However, I wouldn't recommend having 19 of these at once. Even Dr. Fauci wouldn't recommend that. Ding dong, doc. And I'll see you next time from the pit.